Hey there, welcome to the series on how to make a turn-based strategy war game with real-time strategy battles in Pygame. So if you're not sure what this is, um, it's kind of what you're seeing on the screen right now. Uh, and these types of games will contain two main components. So the first one will be the campaign map, uh, which is a turn-based part. And that's where you'll be uh, you know, recruiting units, uh, upgrading your buildings, or your cities, and then uh, maintaining your diplomacy with other countries and all that good stuff. Um, and the second part will be the real-time strategy battles, where you'll be deploying units onto the battlefield, to fight with each other, and so on. So this is part zero of the series. Um, and we won't be doing any coding here, but I just wanted to kind of set target audience and give you an expectation of what's to come. This series is geared more towards people who have completed multiple short projects and they want to move on to something maybe medium length. Uh, or if you have completed some medium length projects and you want to challenge yourself with a kind of a long term project. Now, when I say medium length project, what I mean is uh, something that will take you two to three months to finish, assuming you work on it for about uh, two hours a day. So having said that, I, I do uh, recommend that you have at least intermediate experience with Python and a solid grasp of the Pygame fundamentals. If not, please go watch some other beginner tutorials uh, and then come back later once you feel comfortable. So the first half of the series will focus on the battle part. And the second half will be on the campaign map and then how we eventually merge that with the battles. And the reason I chose this order is because uh, once we've completed the battle portion, then you already have a working game that you can be proud of. Okay, so when we move on to the second half, now if you decide to kind of take a break there, you can do that. Or, you know, as you're continuing the second part and we'll run into some uh, really tedious and time-consuming parts. And during that part, it's, it's really, uh, really easy to lose motivation. But if you've completed the battle part, you have something to look forward to, which is you know, putting the two pieces together. Now, at the beginning of each video, I will try to include a 10-second preview that will showcase what we will be able to do by the end of the video. Uh, also include uh, all the resources uh, in the description. I'll have a public Bitbucket repository that you guys can clone, uh, and that will contain the code as well as all the resources from uh, from all the sprites to the sound effects and all that good stuff. And I will also uh, include uh, some text files, which will be snapshots of the script at the time that each part of the tutorial is completed. And this is because uh, I'll be updating the repository over time, and if you're coming to this series and you're watching part one three months from now, uh, you might go to the code and see, oh, a lot has changed uh, and it's no longer relevant. So uh, in order to reduce confusion, I will include a uh, kind of a frozen snapshot in the form of a text file that you can refer to for each part of the tutorial. And yeah, that's it for now. If you guys have any questions, suggestions as we go along, you know, please comment in the videos below. I'll see you in part one.